Good Thursday evening. Temperatures cool out there, but luckily just a little bit warmer than what we were dealing with last night because of the southeasterly winds pulling in some moisture into the Brazos Valley. We also have some mid and upper level clouds working their way in 48 degrees in Bryan College Station 47 and Hearn Waco has dipped to 43 degrees. Cool spot Conroe where they have fallen to 36 degrees at this hour. Now we're not dealing with any rain out there despite that moisture starting to slowly edge its way back into the Brazos Valley absolutely nothing showing up on radar, so you don't need the umbrella tonight. That's going to change though heading into tomorrow. Upper level storm system working its way through central New Mexico at this hour, pretty much centered over Albuquerque. That's what's going to bring the changes to the Brazos Valley. So what are we talking about? The main impact is going to be the rain going to see pretty widespread showers late in the day tomorrow, continuing into Saturday morning. So some pretty high impacts from that rain. Now the temperature is going to be on the cool side as well because of the cloud cover and rain. We're talking about temperatures in the 40s. So with the cloud cover and the rain and a little bit of wind going to make it feel rather uncomfortable. The good news is though not expecting any ice or snow, so we're not going to see any travel impacts because of slippery roads from ice and snow. Now this upper level low going to slowly work its way to the east heading into Friday morning, and that's going to begin to increase the rain chances from San Antonio up towards Austin. We're still going to be dry tomorrow morning, but as we head into tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours, begin to see some rain showers stream their way up into the Brazos Valley, especially Bryan College Station to the west by 7 p.m. Looking like it's going to be pretty wet. Now keep an eye on this upper level low. It starts to work into northwestern Texas, then starts to take a dive towards the southeast heading into early Saturday morning. That's going to continue to increase the moisture across western parts of the Brazos Valley. This upper level low eventually going to center itself right over the Brazos Valley as we head into latter parts of the day on Saturday. Notice 9 a.m. A pretty good area of shower starts to develop across the Brazos Valley. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. You can see from Bryan College Station north into Franklin, Mejia really starting to get in on some of that good rain as well as Rockdale around 9 a.m. on Saturday. Going to periodically see those showers throughout the day rotating with that upper level low. Begin to see a little bit of a flare up as well as that upper Upper level low centers itself near Bryan College Station uh, around 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon. So we'll see a little uptick in that moisture before uh, most of the rain starts to move out by the late evening hours as that bad boy works its way towards the east of the Brazos Valley. So taking a look at the rain chances again tomorrow morning, pretty low, and then we start to see a nice upward trend as we head towards 4 p.m. Kind of going to see a peak in that precipitation chance by 10 p.m. on Friday remains relatively elevated into Saturday early afternoon. And then as we head into the evening hours, when you start having those dinner plans and you want to go out and hang out with the friends, we notice those rain chances starting to decrease, so it shouldn't really impact anything Saturday evening. Now, how much rain are we looking at? Generally about a quarter of an inch of rain. Now, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but we will take every drop we can get still in a drought here in the Brazos Valley. A few areas may see some totals closer to half an inch, but those are going to be the outliers. Most areas going to see about a quarter of an inch. Now that seven day forecast shows you that we see sunny conditions by Sunday and then those temperatures start warming up heading into Christmas. It's going to be about 10 degrees above average for Christmas, so not really going to feel like Christmas out there. Maybe Christmas in Australia is what it's going to feel like. You know what? I'm honestly kind of glad because I just sneezed like twice as you were finishing. I up. heard you and I was just telling you I feel like I'm getting sick. The past two days I've noticed <laughs> and it seems like you are too, so I hope we don't start sharing germs, oh, Gabriella. No. Oh no. It's the well, up and down temperatures. Okay, well <laughs> Let's let's look on the bright side. We're six days away from Christmas. Yes, kids are getting pretty darn excited about the holiday and you know us kids at heart are too. Always. The Post Oak Mall is helping out with those wishes, Chris, and kids can write their letter to Santa and drop them off at the mall. Tonight's letter is from Haley. She says, Dear Santa, this Christmas I want an Apple watch for my new iPhone, some LOL dolls. Those are cool too. My mom has been working very hard on her goal of becoming a realtor and she did. Congratulations, Mom. She also takes care of me. So if you could bring her anything from Victoria's Secret, she would be so happy. Signed, Haley. 
10 years old. You know what, Haley? I She's thinking of everybody. I love this. Well, first thing, I was like, what are LOL dolls? I'm so old. I don't know what that is. Apple Watch, cool. And yeah. her mom, a big shout out to her. It seems like she's been raising an awesome daughter. Just right? got her license. Yeah. Yeah, so Santa, bring that Apple Watch, LOL dolls, and a little Victoria's Secret. Right? Yeah, super selfless. I love it, Haley. And I think LOL dolls are like, I don't know, my little cousin likes them. I'm not even sure. Don't, don't lie. We know you have them, Gabriella. <laughs> yes, they're all in my closet. <laughs> well, we will be right back after the break, so stay with us. We have more KX. I'm going to write my list now.